this is i myself anti g that's right anti g finally got tv show i know uh, i was after any day update with the liz and the richard and after setting up richard with a tiny mouse uh, held together production called me and said anti g you are too funny and i said of course you're right and they said we want to give you show i said no problem i will go ahead and make everybody happy after all that's what aunty ji does makes everybody happy anyway so we have show called 3 hours late with aunty ji why 3 hours late you say because it's indian standard time we are always late all the time it's very bad but you know who knows what time you watching this show maybe midnight your time maybe 3 am my time it don't matter because it's always 3 hours late with aunty g so with this show we have lots of things happening all at once that's right we're going to do a little bit of match making some horoscopes and of course a segment i like to call what up g so with that being said why don't we go ahead and start with our first segment called what up g and this is nancy hello nancy how are you not too good you see i'm one of the main disney characters over at disneyland and I've been laid off because well, you know. And because of that, I think I'm going to get evicted because I haven't been paying my mortgage since March. No problem, no problem. That's all all your problem is you can't be going to get evicted and lose your job. You know, since you're this famous YouTube star and everything and I saw how you helped other people with their problems, I was hoping you could help me with my mortgage. I will help you. Everything will be okay. So oh, let what? me tell you what you can do, okay? What we have first is an Auntie G water bottle. That's right. If you buy this for one ninety nine, it will solve a lot of your problems. That's right because you need to drink water. You know, when you are going through problems in life, you don't want to get dehydrated. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford that. I have great tap water in <laughs> coming out of my neighbor's yard. <laughs> No problem. The tap water will also be okay in Auntie G's water bottle. It's no problem. No problem at all. Auntie G also has a T-shirt called Auntie G's T-shirt. All sales are final because all sales are final. So you can wear it. You know, while you are leaving the house, as you are getting evicted, everybody will see your shirt and say, "Oh, lovely shirt. Where did you get that shirt?" You say, "Oh, I got it from Auntie G. I only bought it." Or 10.99. Okay, so I think there's a bit of a miscommunication here. Um, I have things. I have clothes. So thank you for thinking of that. I'm not homeless where I don't have things. I just don't have a home. Uh, also, you can try Auntie G's uh, hack. We uh, marriages are made in heaven, and we make it happen. All sales are final as well. You know, you can wear that hat, and and then everybody will see. Okay. Auntie G was there to help you. I'm not even married and I don't know about wearing a hat about marriage. Oh, okay. So I sound like, you know, you have a lot of emotional problems. So if you want, you can buy Auntie G's bottle. That's right. It is a bottle that is a wine bottle, but the thing is there's no wine in the bottle. But don't worry, Auntie G will give you free coconut. so you can make your own coconut moonshine in my country we call it toddy it's very good very good for you your liver might explode but it's good for you oh the coconut is free well, i've been so hungry and you know it, it's healthy fats the coconut so oh at least i'll have food that's right it's a good fat you know it's good for you so you make a moonshine and then you put it in anti gin bottle that you bought for 11.99 and then you drink it and then you will be very happy i can't afford the bottle <laughs> i know it's okay but you know if all else fails you can always read my new book that is coming out it's called all sales are final auto porridge free by auntie g so make sure you look for it okay 
Alright, we'll send you the ah. organizers from by UPS. Okay, take care. It's that time where everybody is all anxious because you know everybody likes a little matchmaking. So let us bring our first person to come with their love problems. Now there you are. Yo, yo, Hello. Auntie, what's up, Auntie G? Hey, what's up? Oh, you know, that's right. I might call myself Auntie G. Yes. You're making me very hip by calling me G. Very nice, very oh, nice. G. Yeah, you are my G. I watch, you know, I've been following you a long time. I'm so excited that I'm on your show right now. I cannot believe this. I'm very, very happy. So, it's so, so it seems your name is uh, uh, Carolina. Is that correct? I go by C. Kind of like you, like G, but it's a C, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. C, C, C. I see. It's like I'm speaking in Spanish. Yeah. C, C. <laughs> Tell me, C, what is your problem? The last time I was dating was like five years ago, right? And then I like got into skating and all this stuff. And the guy I was dating back then, he just like wasn't into it. And so for five years, I've been looking for a guy who isn't intimidated by my skating. It's a male dominated sport for the most part and it's been tough. You know, like skateboarding, skate parks are full of men and I just can't seem to find one that clicks with my heart. Okay, I see. I see. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, I see. Have you been dating anytime recently or you have been all alone in your home by yourself? I got pretty heartbroken after that last guy and uh, I've been scared to put myself out there if I'm telling the truth. Yeah, see, this is what Auntie G's show is all about, you know, talking about your real emotions. Uh, Auntie G will take care of it. She will take care of your little heart of yours and hopefully get you out of that, uh, out of that, you know, scary room of your bedroom, what you call bedroom. So you ready for me to do the, the horoscope? Yeah, let's do it. Bring on the horoscope. Okay, so based on uh, your date of birth that you gave me, uh, it shows that you are Libra. So we have a couple of things here, as you can see. Um, we have a kind of a sad, anxious face, right? You kind of feeling kind of hot or sad. Yeah. You've been in the room too long, you know, and you also, also have a little teddy bear because you are soft inside, you know, you are a soft person. You know, all the skating around, trying to be one of the boys. But at the end of the day, you are like teddy bear. We will, we will just need to find you a new owner so who can love this teddy bear. And then uh, the last thing that I see is uh, you have a little bit of a, a bit of a ass wiper, aren't you? You know me. You I know see. Me. So because you're a little bit of an ass wiper, you know, and. Uh, Perhaps, you know, doing all this stuff with the boys may not be the right thing for you. So I, I found somebody, I have a bio data for you to see and uh, hopefully if you, if you like this person, uh, we, will, we will get it set up for you. My people will call your people. I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, okay. so we have this person here. Uh, she's a very lovely lady. Uh, her name is Sophia. Mm -hmm. Very exotic name. Uh, she lives lives in the what you place called uh, Florida, uh, you know, with the, the tropics of the USA. Yeah. Uh, and she yes, she grew up in the Italy. You know, you like Italian food, no? Of course, I love those spicy meatballs. That's right. Yeah, she's not really into the meatballs, but you know, it's okay. But she likes she likes people. So you are people. So she will, you know, you and her will make it maybe a good match. Ani G, like, you know, I I have not dated women before, but it's possible that that is the, the route for me. And, you know, this is a very attractive older woman. She, she's an older woman, of course. Um, and I heard they got some good skating in Florida, so I would relocate for her. Sophia is very uh, outspoken, just like you. She's also family oriented, you know. So I know you enjoy your family once in a while. Once a year, I see my family and it's great. Very good, very good. And also, I would like to tell you that uh, she is also amphi, amphidextrous. Mm. Yeah, she's also, that means she's very good in the bed. Mm. She might also be an amphibian, but we don't know. But it's okay. But she's from Florida. Florida, 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 sorry. 
yeah. same place you know is hard for the indians to say i like palm trees on the g so i'm all good with the florida i am glad that you want to meet sofia uh, so we will go ahead and get you on that date okay make sure you send me letter write letter and tell me how great the date was okay Yeah, I will. Thank you, Ani G. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. Just when you think it's about to be over, it's not. So we actually have one more person, one more matchmaking. That's right. Hello, Sarah Ann. I changed my name. It's Aviva Hertz. Okay, no problem. Whatever you want to call yourself, not a problem. Tell me, what is your problem? I'm looking for someone who is not. intimidated by me and somebody who loves the great outdoors as much as I do based on your background i can tell you love the outdoors is that right yes i'm an outdoor enthusiast very nice very nice your hair matches my background Purple. Auntie G is going to take care of you. Okay. Thank you. So I'm very excited okay. right now. I can tell by your voice. I can yeah. tell you're very excited. Auntie G is so excited. Yeah, I don't usually get this excited, so it's a little out of character for me. That's okay. Just keep it in your pants. That's all I have to say. While we're in the show, in the bedroom, you can do whatever you want. Are you ready for your horoscope? Oh yes, I'm very ready. Based on your data bird that you sent me, I can see that you are a Aquarius. I can tell because of based on your lovely personality. So I can see here that you you like the monies. Oh yes, I keep oh. I keep a lot of it in the basement here with me. That is what Auntie Lee does as well. You know, she doesn't trust banks. But you know, because you like the monies um uh, that also means that you are kind of like taco you know you know you have uh, you got a little bit of meat uh, you got a little bit of cheese uh, you have a little bit of cilantro and oh. the lettuce and the tomato i i understand that metaphor because you are like taco and you are definitely a hard shell mm. we are going to have to look at a different perspective of your life which is sometimes instead of turning that frown upside down I need you to turn it right side up. Okay, very nice, very nice. Mm-hmm. Doing great job. Okay, no need for botox. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Let's do the bio data. So we have here uh, this fellow. His name is Karmit. Very exotic name. Uh, he is very exotic himself. uh he enjoys the outdoors like you and that they are uh, he grew up in the south south where i don't know but somewhere in the south maybe south america maybe south of india who knows but somewhere in the south very exotic and he's single yes he's very very single whatever happened was, to to miss piggy yes i know you know they have big break up and uh you know it's it's okay you know i already set her up with someone else I don't want an amphibian with baggage. He's really over her. He's very over her. Don't worry. He went through the anti-G counseling program oh. that we also have for five hundred dollars, and uh, he was very successful at it. That's great, anti-G. I'm, I am so 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 excited now. I'm glad you are excited. And just for your information, he also likes folk music just like you. Oh wow! So, do I have to have special food for him? Oh no, not really. You know, it's like going out with vegetarian. You know, okay. everybody. This there's always something on the menu for everybody. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I also want to say also he is also ambidextrous. That means he's amphibian, and he is also ambidextrous, and also very good in bed. So don't worry. Because oh, I thought that all of the Muppets were left-handed, but he does have five fingers. So okay, that makes sense. It That's makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah. Yes. Wow, Auntie G. I am honored, really honored. Deep bows to you, Auntie G. Okay. Well, that is that's all our time because that's how much you're paying for. You know, my people will call your people. We'll set up the date with uh, Mr. Kermit, and then uh, you write letter to Auntie G and tell me how great it was. Okay. You bet, Auntie G. Okay, Auntie G, thumbs up. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, well, that was the end of the show. So thank you so much for joining Auntie G and on uh, the three hours late with Auntie G. And uh, take care and remember, all sales are final. <laughs>